Today I'm going to show you how to take your standard window air conditioner and make it so that it will go down colder than it does when it comes from the factory. When it comes from the factory it usually will only go down to about 61 degrees Fahrenheit and I need mine to get down to 55 degrees for a wine cellar that I'm working on. So stay tuned and I'll show you how to do it. So this is the model that we are using. It's a GE 5000 BTU um, window unit. As you can see here on the serial plate, all the information you need is right there. Here's our front view. It's a small window unit. It's probably the smallest one they make. It's about $100 from Home Depot. Alright, the first step is to, for one, make sure it's unplugged. Never work on it while it's plugged in so you don't shock yourself. Um, you'll need to remove these, these uh, pull-out uh, plugs or uh, handles, which I've already done. Um, this is what they look like. But you take those out, you need to remove the screws that you see here around the sides. There's two on top, and then uh, two more here, and then on the back there's four that you'll need to take care of. One, two, three, four. The two bottom on the back, don't bother uh, removing, they, they actually uh, will make it so you can take the compressor out, but you don't need to do that. So next we're going to remove the shell or the front of the uh, unit and then we'll take the top shell off. So to take the top shell off you remove these two screws here and you kind of peel this back a little bit like that and then it'll it'll pop off and then on both sides. Now you see the evaporator in the front. Um, we're still going to need to go a step further to take this shell off just so that we can uh, get to all the parts we need to. So I'm going to do that and hang on just a second. Now you can see that the shell's been taken off and all the parts are exposed to the inside of the window unit. These uh, coils you're going to be careful not to damage too because the aluminum inside of them will bend out and you want it to kind of stay how it is. Alright so next we're going to go and um, we're going to open up the compartment where the uh, electrical is, which is this right here. Like I said, make sure this is turned off, or not turned off, but uh, unplugged. Okay, so now I've taken the cover plate off. What we were going to do, I've already cut these wires. Um, this red wire was connected to that little tab back there, and the black was over the other tab. This is the thermostat that's built into the uh, unit. It's the top knob of the front switch. So what we're going to do now is we're going to actually remove this whole unit because this is what keeps it from going below 60 degrees. It's got a little uh, thermal coupling on the front that fills up with gas and pushes a switch off in here when it gets to 60 degrees. And like I said, we want to get this to go lower than that. So we're going to remove this and replace it with a, in, a line volt uh, a thermostat that's going to be outside of the machine. But we're going to use these wires and hook into it and get rid of this all together. So I'll show you that in just a second. I'm going to go ahead and remove this by the two screws out here and just pull this whole unit off of there. So here's the thermostat pulled out. This is the front knob right there and this is the thermal coupling off the front. So that's all been removed and next I'm going to uh, hook up the, the line volt thermostat. So this is a line volt thermostat we got from Granger. It's only about $28 plus tax. Um, and it, uh, this should do the trick for the thermostat that we're replacing. So here's, a, so here's a view of the actual thermostat. Now one key feature is it has to be at least 110 volt uh, line capacity. You don't want to use like a thermostat that's made for a heating unit in your house that's, uh, that's low voltage. It would fry it, could even cause a fire. So this is what we're going to be installing on the wall after the unit's in installed. So these two wires that we disconnect from the thermostat right here are going to run, this is what runs the compressor. We're going to uh, connect this into the thermostat that we just purchased. So there's two, there's two, uh, two little screws you see there where those are going to run into each other. And basically all this is is a switch that is hooked up to a to a thermostat so that it switches on and off at a certain temperature. Alright, so we took these uh, little crimping connectors and connected it to the 
wire that I showed you earlier. All they do is crimp with a uh, crimping tool like this. So these little pieces down here you crimp. And that basically just indentation puts an indentation into it that pushes the two wires together. So I've just made extension wires with these. Focus here. So these are just extension wires that I put in here that I'm going to run into the thermostat. So I made them about three feet long so I can cut them off a little bit later. Next I'm going to start putting everything back together. The uh, I've got to run these wires outside of it so that I can uh, connect them uh, at a later time. So uh, the uh, assembly is just the exact opposite of what I took it apart. So I think you can figure that part out. So this is actually the location where the window unit is going to be inside the cellar. Um, so it'll blow out across the wine cellar like this. But anyway, I'm going to take a a old work box like this, and I'm going to install it into the wall in here, run the wires into that box so that I have a place to mount my thermostat. So in a second, you'll see that. Okay, so now the unit's back in the wall, and as you can see the little red and black wire right there, those are the two wires we wired in. I've got them running into the wall, and then coming back out right here into this blue box, a little work box that I'm going to set my thermostat on. Um, you do want to be careful that this is a... Uh, I made it so that those wires are under the wire clamp that holds the electrical wire so that it can't pull out very easily. So this is now wired up. Uh, it doesn't matter which wire goes where, but um, make sure it's good and tight and you want to make sure these wires are also copper not anything else so this is just the thermostat with the cover taken off and we're ready to set this in the wall now here it is complete with the thermostat mounted on the wall the unit running this will control the compressor only uh, when the temperature on the unit gets down to the set temperature, it will cut the compressor off, but the fan will continue to run, which is, uh, that's what keeps the unit from freezing up. 